Hey folks, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time. Today, we're gonna take a look at a 2022 Venture RV Sonic, model number 231 VRK. And I'm here with my friend, Brandon Hannemeyer on the camera today. How's it going everybody? Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We're really excited about the new Sonic today. It's the first time we've had a brand new 2022 and it's sweet inside. Outside also looks really cool. You're really going to enjoy this. If you guys could please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and that notification button. And we're also now on Instagram and TikTok. So follow us along there. You're going to enjoy this video. Right on. I am a big fan of this trailer. So your rear kitchen, front queen, you get a couch and a dinette. All of that rolled into one. This is a bunch of innocence and mayhem rolled into one. 4,500 pounds, aluminum frame, fiberglass skin, only seven and a half feet wide. So it's gonna be a little more aerodynamic for you, especially with the way this front nose is kind of created in through there. Great aerodynamics, not that wide. Good looking front window there at the front. Front power jack, 20 bumper paint tanks, then your battery in a box location is gonna be right behind there. You also have a battery disconnect switch there as well. We got four stabilizer jacks, one on each corner of the trailer. We have our pass-through storage in through there at the front. This also has the upgraded off-the-grid package, which gives you a 100-watt solar panel on the roof with a charge controller, Blackwater flush kit, sewer drain, 30-amp detachable-style cord, and a Schwintech slide pulling the dinette off the floor. For the size of this trailer, the, the size of the furniture inside is, is exceptional. We're going to get to it. Gas, vents right there, outside shower, city water connection, six-gallon, gas water heater and then here's our spare tire we're gonna put a beautiful lazy acre tire cover on the top there furnace vent here at the back and then down here down the door side we've got a big window off the couch electric awning with led lights on it nice secure steps lend a hand grab handle is that a bottle opener brendan pop love to see it good looking aluminum rims standard suspension right in through there fresh water fill and then just the other side right here of our pass-through storage Anything you'd like to add, Brennan? We got a cool orange light. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is not the highlight, no. but we're gonna have a look inside. Right on, folks, we're inside that Sonic 231 VRK. I've caught my breath. I didn't really think that intro through, but here at the back, we've got a rear kitchen, and for a 23 foot, 4,500 pound trailer, the counter space in here is exceptional. It's seamless. It's got an undermount stainless steel sink. There's all kinds of it. We got double windows. We've got great storage across the top for all the plates and cups. Decent microwave, range hood, glass stove top cover over top of our three burner stove top. We got blue lights on the knobs. Love to see that. The oven has a sparker built in, so you don't have to get on your hands and knees to light it. We got some drawers here down below. Oh, that's slick. I didn't really plan on having that. Nice stainless steel drying rack that's gonna fit over top of our sink. Another drawer here, there's our furnace, and then a bunch of lower storage for pots and pans, maybe a garbage can, all that in through there. Now, as we walk in the trailer, we've got great access to the fridge, okay, from the side of the road. We've got our booth dinette, we can turn that into a secondary bed. We got storage underneath the dinette, which is slick. And then Brandon points something out to me that's, that's very, very nice. Usually, with the back of these dinettes, it's just a uh, just the back of a dining cushion against the board. This is actually fitted right over top, so it finishes this off really well. It's just a very clean way of doing that. Now back to the main door, we've come in. We've got our pantry location over here. Lots of pantry space. We got our slide switch, our awning switch, some light switches, and we got the couch in through here. A very comfortable couch. We got double uh, cup holders here. We can turn this into a bed easy peasy. And then the water pump's actually right underneath the couch here in this model, making it nice and easy to winterize. We got storage across the top. Nice glass, eh, Brennan? Yeah, really cool. Right on. There's your built-in charge controller that's controlling the amount of amperage coming off that 100 watt panel we talked about. And then here is our TV. It is on arm. We can face the dinette. It's gonna be that bad viewing from the couch, but nice, easy viewing from the dinette. It's a walk-through wash, which means we have a pretty decent wash washroom in through here. We got double pocket doors, so one here, one there. Decent counter space, another ledge up through here, medicine cabinet, linen closet, storage here down below, and we got a porcelain toilet. Let's see if the dump truck fits. Oh yeah, yeah, dump truck fits in through here. That's nice. I'm six feet, and I have tons of space in through here. It's the, the roof line on these is, is very aerodynamic, which you kind of saw from the outside, 
but it does give us a little bit extra height here in the middle of the trailer, which is fantastic. We're doing good here, Brandon. How do you feel? Great. I missed the light in the bedroom. Missed the light in the bedroom? Right wow. above your head. We'll let it slide. Hang on. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> you know what's awesome? The Fantastic Fan is through here. I saw that, yeah. I'm not sure if that's an option or a standard, but that's a great feature, especially in your, in your bedroom here. We got hanger storage on both sides. We got storage across the top. We got an RV queen, so that's 60 by 74. And then there's a couple of these USB ports around the trailer. I think these are really slick. Just kind of rotate that down. And then you got double USBs right in through here. And then on the other side, you got a 110. But just the way they finished off that USB is, is pretty awesome. Little cubby holes in through there as well. That's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hit us up on Instagram or send us an email at sales at lazyacres.com. Have yourself a good day.